Hi everyone, so my name is Joshua James Houghton and I am the International Student Activities Officer here at Swinburne University. Um, for today and for the next few weeks, I'm going to be trying something new where I'm going to be introducing a new weekly theme for you guys to share with everyone and I'll be producing a few videos on the theme of the week so that it drives some discussion for us to talk about or relate to. So the theme of this week is celebrating our heritage and our culture. And the topic of today, as you may can guess, it is batik. It is talking about my traditional clothes from Indonesia. And I'm just gonna spin around once just to show you guys a little bit of the pattern. And I'll be talking about what it is in just a second. So what is batik? Batik is traditionally the techniques of wax resist dyeing onto a whole cloth. It's created by using a spouted tool called the janting. And the janting, uh, which I can show in a second, is used to lay the wax patterns onto the whole cloth. And they're normally patterns of dots and lines. It is then dyed to create a certain pattern which can be seen after we boil the wax off. This is then repeated many times until the final batik pattern is achieved with different dye colors. This is just a simple version of how batik is created. If you want to look into it in more detail, the internet is your best friend. The patterns used on batik have many different origins, but the oldest traditional original batik originates from Solo and Yogyakarta. Cities traditionally regarded as the center of Javanese culture. The batik pattern is called batikraton or inland batik. The batik pattern generally has a lot of earth colors such as black, indigo, brown and sogan. While the symbolic patterns used here are mostly free from outside influence. But over time, batik has been influenced by many regions in the world, such as Japan, um, Europe, India, Malaysia, and many more regions in the world. For example, I wanted to show you what my home batik looks like. And just give me a second. So I have three batiks available with me in Australia, not all of them, because some of them are back at home in Indonesia. But as we can see here, this batik has been influenced by a modern, modern batik style, which as we can see, it's all these patterns to form a lotus flower in the middle, which I feel like has a symbolic interpretation of maybe the Buddhist culture and a Buddhist influence. Although I can never be too sure because modern day batik is generally free for the artists, a freedom of speech for artists to create whatever patterns they like in a batik kind of styled shirt or clothes. On the other hand, this batik piece looks quite oriental in my opinion. And it's actually one of the reasons why I bought it because I really like the dark blue color with the, ra um, the range of red and white on it. It, look it really stands out but it's not considered a traditional batik. So getting back to what is a traditional batik. So the closest one I have to show you what a traditional batik is, the one I'm wearing currently. So the one I'm wearing at the moment is a motif of Bati Sakar Jagat, which is originating from Jawa, Solo and Yogyakarta and has the meaning of a beauty and wonder for every person who gazes upon it. This name is taken from the word Kar Jagad from the Javanese language, where Kar means map and Jagad means world, and it, is, and it is symbolized as diversity around the world. So that's it from me on the tea. There is still so much more for you to explore on the internet or Wait for when you can come to Indonesia and explore it for yourself. Now, I do have a question for all of you today that's watching. What is your traditional clothes from home? Do they represent a special meaning? 
Would you mind sharing with us in the comments below what your traditional clothes look like? Just a reminder for all of you. So this week we have two contests running um, in regards to Celebrate Your Heritage Week. They are the Storytelling Contest and the Six Word Contest, where the links are available in the description for this video, so please check it out when you can. Once again, thank you everyone for watching and see you later. Or how we say it in Indonesia is, da da!